Well, we often say that, you know, if there was a single book where you could just look up, okay, here's the behavior and here's what you do. Um, you know, if we could if we could create that, we would make a million dollars. Um, and, and people really want that. And it's it's completely understandable why we want it because, you know, difficult behavior is exhausting. And it's confusing because it changes. You think you've mastered it and then it changes again. And so there's lots and lots of resources out there that you'll find that will say, if you have this behavior, you should try this strategy. And if you have this behavior, you should try that strategy. Sort of like you have a recipe and you know, here's the answer. And it's not to say that those are not helpful or effective, um, but they won't be every time. And I think that's where they get to be very frustrating. And so for all children, but especially for children with trauma history, we have to remember that we're human beings and we're all different and we've all had different experiences. And so we cannot take the outward appearance of a behavior that might look the same in two kids and treat it the same way because that behavior might serve two completely different needs. So what, what we talk about um, when, we, when we think about how to manage behavior is this idea that we've got to understand the need behind the behavior. Every behavior that we engage in as humans is meeting some need. It's not always entirely clear or it's not always the best thing for us, but it is meeting a need that we're trying to that we're trying to reach. So, um, I need attention. I feel like I don't have secure relationships. So I'm gonna throw a lot of stuff and yell and scream because you're gonna come over and tell me to calm down. And that's a relationship. It's not the greatest relationship, but it is our own relationship. And on you know on the most basic level, I think people sort of understand that 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 behavior is doing something. With children with um, trauma history, as uh, we were saying earlier about trauma triggers, it can't always be clear what it is they're trying to get met um, because the behavior doesn't necessarily make sense. It's not so much of a, um, a direct connection between the behavior and the outcome. There's a lot of internal processes happening as part of getting those needs met that we don't necessarily understand from viewing that behavior from the outside. Um, so what we have to learn to do is to really, um, we talk about becoming a behavior detective, is to really learn to analyze um, and understand the pattern. Uh, one of the wonderful things about you know, working in behavior for so long is that, you know, I really believe if you take the time, all behavior operates in a pattern. We tend to repeat these loops that we get into because they work um, to a certain extent and we do them over and over and over again. So if you're good, if you learn how to, um, the, to learn how to find the clues to that pattern, then you have the ability to unravel the pattern and to sort of help them learn a new pattern. But because each child is different and because the way that pattern has been developed is different, um, we cannot apply the same strategy to, the, to every single child, even if what they're doing is the same. Um, so an example of that is you could have two children who are um, withdrawing uh, isolating themselves, not wanting to be with the family. Um, one child is doing that because they they really want people to come seek them out. Um, and so when people do seek them out, they realize that withdrawing is getting that need met. The other child could be doing it because they are really um, rejecting, they're, they're scared of relationships. That's a scary feeling of connecting with other people. So they really don't want people to connect with them. So if people come to them, their behavior is gonna get worse. Outwardly, the behavior looks exactly the same, the approach would have to be completely different. And we could only know that by analyzing that pattern over time.